Hey guys, retired Lieutenant Todd Heaton here with Tumultas First. In this video, I'm going to talk about an incident that just happened that demonstrates well what the number one solution is for the problem of active shooters. An innocent citizen lawfully caring for self-defense shoots and stops a man with an AR-15 from killing who knows how many number of innocent people. I'm Lieutenant Tony Hazel with Charleston Police Department. I'm the Investigative Services Bureau Chief. He got in the back seat and pulled an AR-style rifle and started firing into the crowd. A bystander that was at the graduation a birthday party, which is a female, pulled her pistol and fired at the gunman, killing him. Uh, no one else was injured in the party. Uh, only one was, was injured was the, the gunman himself. Was she, is she a member of law enforcement by any chance? No, she's just a member of the community who was carrying her firearm lawfully and instead of running from the threat, she engaged with the threat and saved several lives last night. The gunman, uh, he did have a prior criminal history. Um, the person that engaged, um, none, just, you know, lawful citizen. Just again, kind of reiterate how really like it's a miracle that nobody else was was injured in this. Uh, yes, I mean, like I said, he pulled it. He pulled the firearm, and started firing. I mean, there's 30 or 40, 50 people here. I don't know exactly where her position was, but obviously she was in a position to see what he did, engage him, and take out the threat immediately, without any of these kids, adults getting her harmed. This lady was carrying a lawful firearm. Okay, a law-abiding citizen who stopped the threat of probably 20 to 30 people getting killed. It's my opinion that most Americans want leaders to effectively and efficiently deal with this problem. This story is not getting the national mainstream media attention that it ought to. Conservative journalists should be breaking their backs to identify, locate, and interview this heroic woman who immediately stopped the next mass shooting by an unjust active shooter. This is an example. This is the example of how an active shooter event can be stopped immediately without one innocent casualty. This is the model that any and every media outlet with an ounce of integrity and or a sincere desire for authentic solutions should be holding high. The only casualty and fatality was the unjust criminal aggressor, the ambush predator, the active shooter. Listen again to what this Charlton police lieutenant and bureau chief is saying to you. I don't know exactly where her position was, but obviously she was in a position to see what he did, engage him, and take out the threat immediately without any of these kids, adults getting her harmed. This lady was carrying a lawful firearm, okay, a law-abiding citizen, who stopped the threat of probably 20 to 30 people getting killed. Look, for a certain kind of person with a certain kind of worldview, gun control is the only answer they bring to the table. If you constantly use the single answer of gun control, guess where it ends up? We end up like a lot of other countries without the individual rights to protect ourselves from unjust criminal aggressors. While in the meantime, the politicians, other very important people, and of course the criminals who couldn't care less about the laws, they're going to continue to have and use things like armed security details and, you know, guns. Some have even said they desire a repeal of the Second Amendment. That is madness. Listen to what the police chief has to say about this active shooter. But looking at Mr. Butler's criminal history, uh, he does have propensity toward violence and for carrying firearms. I mean, he's a multi-time convicted felon, been to prison a few times. And uh, as a young police officer, I was a rookie, I had about a year on. Uh, one of the most knockdown, drag out fights I, I had was with Mr. Butler, and he had a firearm on him at that time, back in 2005 or what? 2006. Wow. So, Chief, so Butler should not be, not, I mean, he can't legally be possessing the firearm that he had, can he? No. It didn't stop them, did it? This by far is the number one solution to the unjust problem of active shooters. Good people with a gun. If you have an interest in some of the other solutions 
Then check out my business homepage at Humilitas First. Click on the video tab and you can watch a three-part active shooter preparedness presentation where I take a look at additional solutions to this problem.